In this video for WP Bakery's Page Builder, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to download your copy, install it, and activate everything to get started. My name is Paul C and welcome to WP Touch, the channel where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon below to become part of the notification squad. Okay, so WP Bakery's Page Builder. How do we download it, install it, and activate it to get ready to start working and creating our visually appealing websites? Well, in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate exactly how we do that. If you're new to WP Bakery's Page Builder, I'd also recommend checking out the video that's in the description below and also in the card in the top corner and now it'll get you up to speed on how to use the page builder quickly easily and effectively okay so let's just jump over into wordpress and take a look at now how we download this install it and activate it so once you've completed and purchased your license the next thing you're going to need to do is just download the plugin now i've already gone ahead and done that and we're ready now to jump over into the dashboard of wordpress and add the plugin so from the login page on your dashboard simply log in and once you've logged in, you'll be taken through to the dashboard. We're now ready to jump over into the plugin section and we're gonna come down and we're gonna choose add new. Now once we choose add new, we can choose from any of the predefined, we can go through and search, but what we are looking for is the upload plugin option. So as you click on there, you can see we now have the option to upload the file that we want. We can simply click on choose file. Once we've done that, we can locate the file that we want and click on open, and then we can click on install now. And that'll go through the process of uploading that and installing it for us, ready to start using WP Bakery Page Builder. And there we go. It's all uploaded. All we need to do now is activate the plugin, and we're pretty much good to go. Now, once you activate the plugin, you're going to see you're going to get this welcome screen that's going to give you some information about the plugin itself, some frequently asked questions, and also some resources. Now, the next thing you want to do to make sure you get the full power and use out of the page builder is to go through and add your serial number to make sure that you've got a fully licensed copy and access to all the extra tools and functions you have as part of that paid for version. Okay, so now that we've downloaded and installed WP Bakery's page builder, how do we go through the activation process? Well, it's very, very easy to do, so just follow along with these steps and you'll be ready to start working with this page builder. On the page builder section on the left hand side, you can see we have the options to go through. We've got general settings and so on. What we want is the product license. And when we click on there, it'll take us through to the settings section and we can now activate our copy of page builder. So all we need to do now is click on the activate page builder button. That'll then take us over to the WP Bakery website where we can log in with our username and password details and we can then activate that particular install and get access to all of those extra tools. And I can now simply choose any of the license codes that I've got available to me and then simply click on activate underneath to go through the activation process and finish that up. And you see that takes us straight back to the website and we now have a fully activated copy. If we want to deactivate that in the future, so we want to move it from potentially a test server to somewhere else, then we can simply deactivate this and then we can reactivate it using exactly the same method on our new website. So that's how easy it is to activate your copy of WP Bakery Page Builder. So now that it's installed, we can start using it in one of two ways, the back-end editor and the front-end editor. Now, just to give you a quick demonstration, if I come over to the Pages section and we click to add a new page in, we're simply going to call this Test Page. And as you can see underneath, we now have two new buttons, a back-end editor and the front-end editor. We just click on Publish on this now just to make sure that we've saved those changes. And now if we click on the back-end editor, that'll open up the ability to go through and start creating our custom page layouts using Page Builder. Alternatively, if we like to work on a front-end, more visual way of working, we can click on the front-end editor, and that'll take us over to our page now and allow us to start creating it on a front-end visual method. Now, if this is something you're new to, I'd recommend checking out my video. This is a beginner's guide to using Page Builder. It covers all of the main things you need to know on exactly how to start building your pages with this Page Builder for WordPress. I'll put a link in the description below and also in the top corner right now. So I'd highly recommend going to check that video out to give you a good understanding of how to use this fantastic Page Builder for WordPress. And there we go, that's how easy it is to download, install and activate your copy of Page Builder for WordPress. Hopefully what's demonstrated is the process is incredibly simple and once you've done it, you don't have to worry about it again on that website. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and let me know why you didn't enjoy the video in the comment section below. Speaking of the comment section, if you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this video, please pop those in there. Let's get a conversation started so I can find out what kinds of things you think are good and bad about this and also what you'd like to see in future videos. Videos. Well, if you'd like to support the channel, please consider using the affiliate links in the description. They cost you no more money, but it does give a small percentage back to the channel and help support what we do around here. 
Well, as always, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Tats, and until next time, take care.